it's a beautiful night Looking clean on the scene and I feel alright Yo, it's a beautiful night Yeah, man, it's a beautiful night That's right Yo, it's a beautiful night All drinks on me, and yeah, we out all night Yo, it's a beautiful night Yo, 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 what's going on with it? You already know what it is. It's your boy, the Jones, hitting my radio, man. Hit my music in the building, man. Followed by SBT, Super Blog Team, man. I got my co host, Music I Am TV. What's going on with it, brother? You already know, man. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, Music I Am TV. Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you did, hit me up with your link. I subscribe back. Salute the hit and. My music, you already know what it is, man. Let's That's get into it. That's what's up, bros, man. You know, I said, man, I got a special guest in here tonight, man. This man has been blowing up over time, hmm. man. He's part of Spit That Heat, man. Came in and he, you know, became the top dude over, you know, over damn near no time. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Chef Traz. Let's get him in here. What's going on, brother? Yo, y'all, y'all can hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. You know, you know salute. Spit that in the building. Salute for having me on, man. For real. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Let's say what's been going on. How's it down there in the A, brother? Man, it's cool, man. I'm a little under the weather right now, but that's all good. You know, here writing bars, man. Uh, now that's one thing, man. We really appreciate you for calling in, man. You know what I'm saying? Being sick and all, we definitely appreciate you calling in. Oh, already, bro. Already. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, well, let's say yeah. You know, we already know where you from. You from the A, man. That's it. To, you know, let you know, man. I lived down in Atlanta like two years ago, so you know, um, so you know, I so I definitely know about spit that heat down there, man. You know, I'm originally from Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm originally from Vegas, but I lived down there back in 2012 with my moms and shit. But I came back over here. But uh, let's say, man, how long you been battling, bro? Man. Jeez. I mean, like, honestly, like, for a very, very long time, but I ain't had my first battle until, what, uh, April? Yeah, I think it was the April card. Um, spit that heat, like, on camera. That was, like, my first official battle, like, on some serious shit. The other shit was all, like, school, um, over mm-hmm. the phone type. But, like, I've been doing that forever, though, for a very long time. But, uh, yeah, I actually hit Milltown Blow up when I was, like, 18, bro. I'm 20 now. Hit him up out to the team, but I had no footage. I couldn't even battle. Had to wait. Oh. Yeah. Y'all see me now, though. We out here, man. Spit that heat, baby. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it, yeah, man. And uh, that's it. Let you know, you know, you know, I am a battle rapper myself, man. I'm I'm up in A-hat. You well, know, if you, that, you know, if you, if you yeah, heard yeah. of it. Yeah, man, I'm yeah. from over in A-hat. If I would have knew, if I would have knew, because at the time when I was down there, if I would have knew about Spit That he like, all that time, I didn't find out until I actually left. Yeah. You know, you I probably would. Huh? You over there with Drake? Yeah, man, Drake Vicious, my nigga. I fool with Drake. I think Drake dope. I'm going to have to get in a ring with that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. He, he definitely, he definitely got bored. But yeah, that's say yeah, man. I, I would have definitely stepped in that ring over there with y'all if I would have knew y'all was down there while I was down there. But well, um, but yeah, I had you know I came back over here on the west and I, at home and shit. But uh, you know that you know my next question, bro. Um, let's say what got you in the battle rap, bro? You know, just like just seeing people like be able to be aggressive, just yelling each other's face, just be able to spit bars. Like entertain mm-hmm. people around. You know what I'm saying like I play sports. I like I like getting the crowd hype. I like doing mm-hmm. crazy shit out of nowhere to shock people. So when you battle it, I'm saying if I'm spitting punch after punch and the crowd going crazy, that's like feeding me. That's energy. So it's like mm-hmm. just watching that. It's just you know what I'm saying that's the type of person I am. Like I like that. I like that type of shit. So it was real right. easy to just get into it. Oh, that's what's up, bro. That's that what inspires you, man. I mean. Always like honestly, bro. Like like elementary school, just trying to like just rap. I, I, like I got kicked out for like two weeks because I kept saying nigga. I just kept rhyming shit with nigga, bro. <laughs> like that ass just kept rhyming shit with nigga. My teacher's like, you keep, keep saying nigga the n words, and I got in trouble for that. And then I learned how to write bars. You know what I'm saying? Just write, and it's like, yo, like I, this is me. I gotta do this. It's just like a different feel. Like well, I could do anything, but like when I start like rapping a battle, and I just feel like a whole other person. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that feeling. I really do know that feeling. But uh, that's it. Do you actually do music, though? I do. I do a little bit. But right now, honestly, like, I ain't even doing no music, man. Because, like, I got to keep topping my battle performances. I got to keep making sure that next one is crazy than the last one. So I really been focused on my battles right now. I'm going to get into the music a little later, but right now it's just all battles. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's it. I see uh I seen your last battle, man. You just got off a great battle with Granddaddy Perp, man. Yeah, so look at uh, Perp did his thing. Oh man, I'm already knowing, man. That 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 shit was tough, man. And uh that's it, yeah, man. We actually got him in the building too, man. He actually just called in too. Let's get Perp up in here, man. Is Perp there? Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, yeah, what's going on with it, brother? What up though? Oh, yeah, man, it's good to have both of y'all on the line right now, man. I just want to know on both perspectives, man, like starting with Trez, man, with the whole granddaddy per battle, man, how was that battle to you personally? Bro, like, bro, I Perp. I was dying before I battled. I was outside dying. I ate the wrong wings, guy. I was dying. I'm like, yo, nigga, throwing up everything. But it's like, this nigga Perp was walking around the whole time, like, real serious, like, I'm like, yo, this nigga's not about to play. So when we got in there, he was like, I'm going to go first. I was like, okay, this nigga probably got some shit. And which he had, he had some crazy shit, which made me have to freestyle. Because, like, niggas, I freestyle when I think I'm in trouble. And Perk was cooking. I can't lie, he was cooking. So, like, just, mm. I ain't think, he, I, honestly, bro, I ain't think Perk, I ain't think Perk was going to snap like that, though. Mm. Like, he super shocked me. Like, he went crazy. So, salute to Perk for making that battle what it was, for real. Yeah, 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 man. So what? So uh, on Granddaddy Perp side, how do you feel about this battle personally, brother? I mean, I needed the battle. I ain't gonna front. See, that was, you know, everybody been fucked with trash so shit. I seen an opportunity and mm-hmm. just jumped on it. See, that's that's all I'm doing is jumping on opportunities, making motherfuckers look, man. So I had to try to get some of that some of that trash shine, man. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> and now both got <laughs> bars. That's what's crazy about it, like. He's yeah. both for going in. That's how you got to let niggas know, you know what I mean? With, with, the, with the platform we on down here in Indiana, you feel me? You got to you gotta do shit like that, man. You got to let niggas look at you. Unless you I've been having bars, shit. I just, now, now I'm motherfucking starting to see shit. Man, that's the E. Hey, you want to know what's ironic about this shit, man? Y'all, both of y'all niggas is from where my parents is right now, man. I said, my mom's up in Atlanta and my pops is in Indiana. That's crazy. That is yeah. crazy. That is crazy. That is uh, crazy. Crazy, but, uh, crazy battle. Um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. You know, uh, Chef Trez and Granddaddy Perp, how did this battle come about on Ball Hog? You know, salute the Ball Hog, too, man. Salute to the big man. I, 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 I definitely support. Yeah, so we, you know what I mean? That's, that's my sponsor. It's a ball. They didn't sponsor me. Like I said, man, I think uh, Trez was looking for some for some work out of town, man. And so as soon as I seen that, I just jumped on it. We made an event out of that. Mm. Word. Mm. Word. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's dope, man. I said, like, I said, when y'all, that's it, like, like, how was the preparation between y'all two? Like, you know, Trez, like, you going out to Indiana to do work, you know, against this mm-hmm. guy. Like, how was the preparation process? Um, Well, I went out of town um, twice already. I went to Dallas and Nashville. So mm-hmm. I kind of, when I out of town, I kind of shook off that little nervousness of being out of town. It was mm-hmm. more like I was I was really ready because that's my, this is my first battle of 2015. I was supposed to battle January 3rd. The person I was uh, supposed to battle got into a little situation, and uh, it didn't go down. So I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, I don't have a battle until February. So I was really, like, just writing, just writing, just writing. And my battle, let me see, I had Craig Lamar. I had Craig Lamar before that. So I was in a... Oh, uh, that man. was crazy. That's a crazy my battle. Already, so with Perk, it's like, I don't sleep on nobody. And you see why, because if I would have slept on Perk, I would have got my ass kicked. Like, uh-huh. I just prep for niggas like they're the best niggas ever. That's what's up, man. What about you, Granddaddy Perk, man? How was the preparation process? What was going through your head, brother? I mean, should I? Just, I mean, I, I knew I had the matching shit. At least, you know what I mean? I I knew I was going in as an underdog. So, shit, I just knew I had to come with the best perp I had, shit. That's, that's what I, 
what I did, and that's why I tried to do it legal. Make that shit happen. Mm-hmm. That was the best part of us, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah like, that's it. Yeah, that was that was definitely cold, man. I watched that about at least five times already, bro. I was like, mm-hmm. that shit is dope, man. Yeah, hey, man, but you know what, though? Like, you know, I know it was a one-round battle, but, like, you know, y'all think it should have been three rounds or y'all think it was just perfect with the one round? Hey, man, you know, like, shit, a perfect round like that, like, I bet a nigga thousand rounds, bro. Like, that's fun. That's exciting. You feel me? Yeah, it is. When, when niggas spin bars like that, it just makes me want to keep rapping. It, it, it happened to be one round, but if it could have been three, definitely would do it. I, I got respect for that man. So, you know what I mean? Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, three round battle, that's, that's definitely it. That would have been a motherfucking classic for real. That would have been, been a, crazy. That yeah, that would have been. Man. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I really enjoyed the battle and with Trez, man. I really do. I really, really, really enjoy your battle with Craig Lamar. That shit was classic. Yeah, it's one of the Yeah, that <laughs> was crazy. that was that was one of the greatest battles that I've seen in the South. That is matter of fact, that is the best battle I've ever seen in the South. Yeah, so honestly, bro, to me, it's it's real crazy. But since me and Craig are are new and we're not vets and we don't, you know what I'm saying? We're not as established. People are not going to look at it like that. But if we, if yeah. and Craig both had top status, bro, like high rank, that battle would be crazy right now. Yeah, 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 in my yeah. respect. That's a, that was a million view battle. Million view battle, in my opinion. Man, yeah, fuck that. That should need a replay value. That should it's replay on, value on, all around. Because either me, Craig, so one of us going, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do our thing, bro. Like, we cooking and spit that heat. One of us going to make it to that next level, and then it's going to mm-hmm. get look like that. It's going it's to definitely do its numbers, but, like, I'm talking right now, though. They're just sweeping right now because it ain't where everybody else at. But we're going to get that up. I ain't really worried about that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's I got this major question starting with Trez, man. I said, what you think about battlers choking and not being prepared? Uh, I think every battler should learn how to freestyle at least a little bit. Not saying you should be crazy with it, but mm-hmm. you should at least know how to rhyme some words and mm-hmm. start fucking up. Because they don't even know. My first battle against Hitch, my third round, our third round isn't out because the camera froze, like froze up during his round. But my first four bars, I realized I was rhyming wrong. So I, I just started freestyling and had a crazy punchline with it, and the crowd went crazy. Enough time for me to jump back into my shit. I could have easily been like, ah, oh, fucking up. And it would have been a done. It would have been done. It would have been a wreck. But, like, mm-hmm. as long as you know how to rhyme a little bit and make sense, like, I don't think that choking shit, like, battling shouldn't choke, bro. That's something we shouldn't do, especially when we got months to write. Yeah, exactly. I feel the same way about that. What about you, Granddaddy Perk? Yeah, I definitely feel the same way about that. But, shit, you know, I done had my motherfucker. I done had my, I done had my run-ins with Earl, man. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, 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 for real, it's, it's, it's come from being unprepared, shit, man. I mean, it. That's that's really what it is, shit. Motherfucker don't come prepared, and mm. you you reap it, man, shit. So, but I'm yeah. I'm off that shit. So that shit's definitely not a good look. But it's not a not a good look at all. Yeah, it's not. But that's it. And then there's a major question, man. What do you how y'all feel about the industry cats coming in the battle rap, getting a check and leaving? I mean. Uh, it be real, dog. I don't stop no man hustling. If these leagues just want to book these niggas and get them that chicken, let them niggas get their chicken. I'm saying, like, if, if a nigga just want to give me some money, then shit, fuck it. Just give me the money then. If I don't care if I'm doing music and I get to, hey, come battle this nigga, I got, I got a 25K for you. I know I'm battle, but shit, that 25K is like, shit, I'm going to go do what I got to do then leave. You can't, you got to think about a nigga who get offered that shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like, if somebody offering chicken like that, you... I mean, you gonna stop doing whatever the hell you doing and come battle rap? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. This is music I am to be. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about that situation about industry cats, mainstream cats coming in here. It takes it takes the shine away from you guys. That's why yeah. I spoke on it. It takes the shine off of you guys that been in here in the battle rap and that are, that 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 deserve a check. Okay. Uh, uh, first time, and foremost. All right. All right. Facts. Up. Facts. But. But but think about it. Not near one of the main street cats came in there a hundred percent like y'all do. You understand? Why give them the check when 
y'all deserve a check. There's plenty of artists, battle rappers out here like y'all that are more hungrier than this industry cats. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's that's, 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 that's the that's only that. problem yeah, yeah. that I got. I don't got. I don't care. Everybody can get their money. I don't care about that. But 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 give these battle rappers y'all that y'all so hungry. There's so many of y'all that y'all can tear these mainstream cats. Most of these mainstream cats that have been up on stage have not given us a uh, hundred and um and ten percent. I say seventy percent, sixty percent, and if that. You feel me? I feel like y'all deserve the check. That's why I, I did that. You know, and somebody was like, oh, you don't, you know, you ain't got no point of view on it. You know, what's your point? I said, my point is that they come in into the battle rap community and actually taking food out of these battle rappers that have been in the game here for a long time. <clears throat> Give them a chance. Not even the ones that have been here I, for a long time. I Get the ones. I definitely you know? agree. I definitely agree. But at the same time, I feel like, like, if you got a mainstream cat who who got his fan base, you got everything. Like you got to see what everybody got to offer. And, and if you battling this mainstream cat, regardless if he come crazy or not, if you catch that body and, and promo and, and move off that how you're supposed to, you'll end up getting more chicken. That's how battlers work. Like you get you get to that yeah, next level, yeah. then you know you get more chicken. So if you beat one of them niggas, the battle world might not think it's that crazy. But if you if you make the right moves after that, then the right shit, you know what I'm saying, the right doors gonna open up. That's what I mean. Right, I mean, right. I mean, it's it's, all, it's like it got it, it it's like it got its pros and cons to it, you know. Yeah, facts. I, I respect that though. I definitely respect that, man. Yeah, man. I let's say, man. Hey, Granddaddy Purr, man. What you think about it, bro? Mm. I mean, basically the same same way, really. Trash feel about it. I, mean, I, I really feel both of y'all, both of y'all right. views of it. But my personal shit, basically same thing. Trash said shit. Let motherfucker eat. Cause I mean, if I was in that huh? position, I, I want to eat, man. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers just gotta eat. I mean, it, it's, it's yeah. fucked up. It's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in battle rap. You know what I mean? That yeah, that niggas can't control. That's what, in, in the world, period, shit, you can't control some of that shit. You can't control. That's the shit that's gonna go on. Shit, I. I'm. I rather. I pay one of them niggas, and it just builds. It builds like like he said. Build your brand up. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. you a little you chicken or whatever you want to do. Next thing you know, you getting a right. lot of chicken. Your next battle. Do y'all yeah. feel? Do y'all feel politics is like taking over the battle rap? Oh hell mm-hmm. yeah. Easy. That's, yeah. That's, hell yeah. It is. Polit- yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Politics definitely run. But politics run everything, man. You gotta look at, at yeah. that shit as a, as a business now, cause shit. Politics Now what we gotta do though, like for us battlers, for real, like politics is crazy. You kind of, well, in my eyes, I think niggas gotta build a fan base up. Cause once you build your fan base up, and, and niggas start demanding mm-hmm. shit, you know, what I'm saying? it's it's, it's kind of hard for the niggas to say no. But we got millions of people demanding shit, not necessarily yeah. millions, but you know, you got people coming at them. Like, yeah, so I think it's definitely a problem. But at the same time, there's ways around all of that. Like, you gotta you gotta make these niggas work with you. How is yeah. it? How, um, what's the feeling of seeing like battle rap on TV now that you can actually go to pay per view and actually go see battles on pay per view? What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, hey, shit, that's shit. That's crazy, but I mean, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get on pay per view, baby. From the I'm street trying, corner to pay per view, how crazy is that? Hungry. Yeah, yeah it is, it that's is, right. That that's Motivation, like, exactly. Hell yeah. I'll never hate on a man doing doing mm-hmm. me or where I'm at. I just see that I'm just like, okay, that's motivation. You can get respect that. Word. Exactly, exactly. Because because let's say because when I went to uh, let's say when I went to Ether with Danny Myers, man, and uh, that's it. A lot of people don't know, man. We had the red carpet out there and shit. Mm. And niggas doing yeah. interviews and all of that. It's like I said, I mean, niggas step his game up. Like, <laughs> Word, real shit, like right yeah. real shit, real Thanks. shit, man. But, but yeah, man. The, but um, I said trash. Start with trash, man. If you had anybody personally you could battle right now, who would it be? Throw me in the ring with Hitman. Hitman, mm, that's what's up. Why Hitman? But like. Every like I'm you know honest, I'm tired of people telling me like, Oh yo, you hit man with bars. I'm I just need to go ahead and kick hit man ass so they just they just be talking about me. 'Cause like I hear that shit all the time. You hit man with bars. Yo, you hit man with bars. <laughs> like, you like hit man. I'm like my nigga, like I'm trash, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> right. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah, like, I, I respect yeah. Hitman Heavy too. Like he used to be one of my faves until I really start like getting my little can time and I start putting in work. And I was like, I think I just kill him. But before he was my fave though, I ain't gonna lie. Wow, that's what's up, man. What about you, Granddaddy Perk? I mean, I I say probably that nigga Calico, man. Uh, that'd be crazy. Like or mm-hmm. Ill Will. I like I like I want to I want to rap with a nigga that that kind of takes the approach I I take type shit. You know what I mean? It'll be it'll uh, be nice. Oh okay. I said Granddaddy Perk. Do you um? That's it. Do you actually do music, bro? Yeah, I do music. That's what I was. That's what I do. That's what I do for real. I took a took a little time off for this shit because I mean it's, it's it's way easier to gain some fans off of battle rap than than it is music. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. Tuning in, you know what I mean. So I just want to grab a grab a, grab a, as many motherfuckers as I can. And, you know what I mean. Slowly but surely, showing what I really do. Transition to that and get some cake for real. Oh okay. All right. That's a starting with Trez, man. That's a, how you take the criticism, man. Um, that I take the criticism. Yeah, how you take it? Uh, I, I listen. I listen to, to you know what I'm saying. Well, everybody has to say good or bad, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, all right, look, if you're gonna criticize me, as long as you make sense, I'll I'll really listen and, and see if I can work on whatever you criticizing me about. Feel me? But if you're not yeah. making no sense, I'm just gonna be like, okay, all right, <laughs> Ooh, all right, bro, I hear you. But it's not going to really change me like that. Like, I like when people give me criticism, though, because I like to know what I have to work on. Just make sure it makes mm-hmm. sense. I'll be like, yo, I think you should punch more. I'm going to be like, what? Mm-hmm. What? Like, yeah. listen to me battle. Yeah. But if you tell me, oh, you should probably, you know what I'm saying, talk to niggas more or or, or add some jokes or some other, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, oh, okay, okay. Maybe I can see what you're talking about. As long as it makes sense, then I'm, I'm, you can tell me whatever. Oh, okay. What about you, Granddaddy Perk? Man, shit, early criticism used to fuck me. It used to knock me down, man. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> used to fuck up a cow. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, but but now, man, I just realized you can you can really take you can really take a lot from motherfuckers. Once you take a little bit, you take a little bit from a lot of people. See, you you be the perfect motherfucker. Damn near. So that's what that's what I focus mm-hmm. on now, motherfuckers. Give me some criticism, I listen. You know what I mean? And I apply apply what they apply whatever type of advice they give me, man. And see what see if it works for me. Oh, okay. That, that's what's up, yo. Man, that's 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 one thing about it is, man. Criticism is is a, is a big thing, man. Some people can't take criticism, man. They just get mad at any little thing that somebody says. And you know, that's, yeah. I, I, you know, I be telling people, man. Sometimes listen to people, see what they are actually saying before you just jump out and react. You know what I'm saying? But one thing, so, I, yeah. I can't lie though. Like, I haven't really been through that stage in battle rap yet, though. You feel me? Yeah, like, I feel you. Like, I, of course, yeah. people done said they little, they little, they little, I'm saying how they feel. But for the most part, most people so far been rocking with me. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I really, I really got to wait till they really get on it to, that, to, to truthfully answer that question. Like, I hunt it. But, like, so far, like, I can, I can handle it. Because, like I said, I play sports. I can handle it then. You know what I'm saying? And this shit, yeah. battle rap, it's just, just words. And plus, I smoke all the time. I ain't shit gonna piss me off. (laughs) 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 All right, man. Okay, yeah, starting with Trez, man. I said, what's the five major leagues that you watch, a top five league that you watch? Uh, I I mean, I I can give you people because, like, I don't really care about the league, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, of course, I, I mean, I watch Fit That Heat battles. I watch, mm-hmm. um, I watch uh, URL battles. I watch KOTD battles. Um, I do watch A Hat battles too. Uh, uh, who else do I watch? Who else do I watch a lot? Let me see a lot. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, see, Fit That Heat. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. I watch a lot of RBE and Pregnant for Perk. Goddamn BBL and Ball Hawk fan. I watch every battle on their page just to see how they crowd was, bro. Man. I watch everything just to see. But like for the most part, yeah, R D E, Spit That E, U R L, K O T D, A Hat. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. I appreciate the A Hat shout out. What about you, Granddaddy Perk? I mean, so you know, I, I I really wasn't much. I'm just really just now getting into watching battles, man. I wasn't much of a battle fan. I just. I just like to battle rap, see. So I'm 
I'm just mm-hmm. like, it's getting getting into this shit though. Definitely spit that heat, man. I fuck with spit that heat happy, man. They 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 putting up some motherfucking work, man. So Yeah. You know, that's that's probably about the end of that's that's about the top motherfuckers I'll be watching. Definitely URL, motherfuckers gotta watch the URL. I like R B E. I like I'll be watching their battles, man. I definitely gotta oh, watch yeah. the ball hog. You know what I mean? Ball I gotta watch every battle you know what I'm saying? You gotta support your feet. B B L. You know what I mean? Man. But but as far as my favorites to watch them probably my top three. I could say definitely top three. Spit that he URL RBE. I like I like more like more sh- more street type. You know what I mean? Battle weapon yeah. and bar and bar heavy too though. And I just I really don't get into like the KLT don't flop shit. I mean personally I haven't uh, gotten to it yet. If y'all know something on one of them motherfuckers, let me know though. I can definitely. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, man. With Trez, man. Who, who's your your toughest opponent? Um, my toughest. Let me see. Uh, I, I got a toughest opponent and I got a toughest battle. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, cause, all right. Because Flacco, Flacco to me was my toughest opponent, but my crack yeah. battle was my toughest battle. And reason being, we we were supposed to do three rounds, three minutes. My nigga Craig Lamar rap for eight of them motherfuckers. Yeah. So I. I had to freestyle so much in my in my rounds just to get, and, and he was cooking like he wasn't going over over the time limit it's just some bullshit. No, this nigga yeah. was over the time limit with haymakers, bro. Yeah. So like I had to I had to at least just match the limit. But Flacco though, because like if you watch any battle of mine before Flacco, like I always rap the same, but I wasn't really barking as much until my Flacco battle. Because like mm-hmm. he first, bro, and this nigga was like at the back of my shirt, like. Nigga was really in my shit. So I'm like, nah, bro, it ain't gonna work like that. I gotta do that same shit. So we just added another element to my shit with that Flacco shit. So that was really like, and, and that was really a draw going into the third to me until we started freestyling. That's the only reason I think I had that battle. So Flacco was definitely tough. Oh, okay. That's what's up. What about you, Rende Pro? Who was your toughest opponent? Yeah, man. You know, my toughest opponent was the nigga Trez. I mean, and, I mean, Tez, too, though, before him, Tez out of Detroit. So he fucked. How to how I fuck me up with him is usually I had a I, I I had a crowd you know what I mean and my cadence is usually what what take over the battle that nigga he fucked he fucked me up with that he, he took the crowd from me man that was that fucked me up I didn't even know how to respond to that as far as bars mm-hmm. and and I have already went I couldn't do nothing about trends nigga was just beating up on me man that was nice with some nice punches man and so that was probably my toughest battle but I, I gave him my best shit and that nigga. But that was a great battle overall. I ain't gonna front. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely a good ass battle. That's a fire ass battle. My love that battle. Mm-hmm. On the road though, on the road, the new perk. Like I said, I've been on the road a few times. I better, you know I'm saying my nigga Killer, my nigga Darilla and Perk. On the road, this monthly shit is definitely my, you know what I'm saying my favorite shit. I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy. It was crazy. Oh, oh okay. That's and Perk, purple man. real nigga, like purple real nigga, like this nigga Perk before the battle, he ended up the bottle. When we got there, like, Perk made sure we was good, man. Salute to Perk. Hell yeah, always. Uh, that's what's up, man. That's it. Mommy, my nigga Bobby Lee, man. Shout out to Bobby Lee. Um, That's it, man. Uh, That's it. What's the best battle y'all watch lately, Tress? Say that one more time, bro. You said what? I said, say that one more time. I couldn't hear you. No, I said, uh, I said, what's the best battle you watch lately? Um... We talking like, like this year only or like 2014 too? Well, we could say a little bit through last year and a little bit of this year. Um, I I found myself watching Born and Bricks a lot last year. Oh um, yeah, that was a great battle. Like like that, yeah. ass, bro. I just I just be watching battles. It's like I know I'm just watching Born and Bricks. That's that battle's crazy. Um, what other battle did I watch a lot? Uh, I mean, this year, this year, let me see what I watch a lot. Um, oh, we got to spit that heat battle. It's crazy. Uh, H. Guy Bell and Snipe. I watched that battle like 100 times this year. Hey, Will and Cannon. Those is crazy. Oh, oh okay. That's so really, on and break, that's, that's what I, you know what I'm saying? If I just watch all the time. I still watch that motherfucker after we get off the phone type shit. Oh, yeah, man. Let me get the niggas went in on that shit. Uh, Randy Perk, man. What you yeah, that's about to be seen, man. 
And see, I was when y'all when y'all asked the question, I was I was I was thinking and shit, trying to think that that nigga he hit it on the nose with me too. Really, that that brick came up for the farm. That's word. That's that's definitely a mean ass battle. That I, I watched that battle prepping for for that nigga because I wanted our shit to be on that level. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely watched that battle how they how they did that. That's that's definitely probably one of my best battles. I watched a lot of Briz and uh, motherfucking uh, T-Top, too, though. I watched a lot of them, too. Uh, Briz. I, I, I say that Briz and Young X. I liked that motherfucker. I liked it, what Briz did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. I, 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 oh, I got yeah. that motherfucker on my iPhone. I was going to say Magic that. and Mitty, but that shit, that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit was long. Well, it wasn't long ago, but it was still, uh, like, what, early last year? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah man. I was yeah. actually there. Yeah, I was actually yeah, there. I watched, that. I watched that battle all the time, too. Imagine oh, yeah. Battle. oh yeah, yeah. I say yeah. I was I was actually there in person when that battle happened, man. The crowd was going crazy. Um, but yeah, I said, uh, Trez, man, you do you associate with your fans, man? Say it again, bro. I said, do you associate with your fans? Oh, definitely, I, definitely. You see my my Twitter, my IG, bro. I be putting in work with the fans. Oh, you yeah, man, I'm gonna have to follow you, man. They putting in work with the fans, bro. Hard. That's what's up. What about you, Granddaddy Perk? Uh, you know, I, I make every shit. Damn every fan I get, I, I damn near make them personally. Shit. I, go, I go in one of the motherfucking groups, and I, I prayer request everybody that I see active in the group right now and shit, and I post my shit on their page. We talk fans shit. I, so every fan I got, I went out there and got shit. So that's definitely a thing, I mean, associated with them. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. But that's it, uh, yeah, man. Before we get up out of here, man, anybody got any shout outs, man? Um, salute to y'all, man, for having me in Perk Call. You know what I'm saying? Having us on here. Of course, oh, yeah, the ball. Sure. Salute Spit That Heat. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Twitter, Chef Mode underscore Trash. Same on IG. We out here, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, you right. too, man. Yeah, definitely shout out to y'all having us on the show. This is my first race. My first, you know what I mean? Podcast interview and shit, so I definitely salute the salute for that man. I appreciate that man. Salute ball, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. Behind the nigga and shit, and, I, and definitely su- su- salute that nigga blow. Fred man and uh, T top too. Salute, salute that nigga man. We got that nigga coming down here, Mark. Yeah, he he got T top next. Hell yeah, yeah, man. So you know what I mean. Just trying to let motherfuckers know, man. Niggas got bars down here in Indiana too. Salute to everybody. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, man. I I really like Mr. Mills, man. Hell yeah. Yep. That nigga puts it down out there. But yeah, man, I'd like to thank y'all for coming on to the line with me, man. Like, you know, I'm really a fan of that battle y'all two niggas had, man. I, you know, I love it and we appreciate y'all for putting in that work. And, um, yeah, man, music I am, man. Thanks. Fuck that nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Thank you. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Salute to you, man. Salute the fucking granddaddy perp. Salute the fucking Chef Trez. Salute to the whole fucking battle rap community, man. That's facts. You know, music on MTV is all around hip hop. You already know. Oh yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. man. What's y'all Twitter's real quick? My oh, yeah, man. music, music on MTV. Hey man, you can follow me at the Jones H M man. I just, I, just heritage. I just followed music I M T V and you said Jones what? Uh H M. That's H is in Harry, M is in Mary. <laughs> Jones H M no, Oh no, oh my oh Twitter, um I'm Jones N H S. N H S. Yeah, I just follow Chef. I just followed you back and shit. Y'all already know. I can't yeah, find you, Yeah, you can't follow find. me too, my niggas. Yeah, definitely. Y'all already know. I follow back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I follow back. Yeah, I follow back. Mm-hmm. All right, for sure, yo, yeah, man. That's it. Like I said, I appreciate y'all for coming on the line, man. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. and uh, We about this piece, man. Oh, man.